Joining us now is a man who knows Jacob DeGrom very well. He coached him at Stetson University. He's been the head coach at Stetson since back in 1980. Uh, Pete Dunn joins us on the telephone line right now. Pete, great to have you with us. And, and just some thoughts on Jacob DeGrom and the way he has progressed as quickly as he has early in his major league career. Are you surprised by that at all? Well, I'm, I'm not surprised that he's that he's done well, I guess, as quickly because, you know, as, as a lot of people know or maybe don't know, he, he really didn't make the transition to, you know, full-time pitcher uh, or starting pitcher until his junior year, which is the year that the Mets uh, drafted him. So he's made some tremendous progress to become a uh, National League Rookie of the Year in a, in a relatively short time. So he came to you as a shortstop. Tell us about Jacob deGrom, the freshman. Well, he was uh, he's about the same size, uh, tall, lanky kid, left-handed hitter. Uh, he was a heck of a shortstop. I think he would have had a chance to, to sign a pro contract as a shortstop, but I, I really don't believe he could have achieved what he's, you know, as a shortstop, what he's achieved as a, as a pitcher for the Mets. So what was behind the decision ultimately to move him from shortstop and have him begin pitching? You know, you know by watching him, he can throw strikes in his sleep. I mean, he, uh, he he just had great command, and we talked to him about closing, and he said, hey, that sounds good to me, you know. So our plan was to let him play shortstop, and then in the ninth inning with a lead, bring him in, let him close, and game over, and then he starts it short the next game. And uh, we were about 12, 15 games into the year, and he had one save. We were not getting the job done with our starting pitching. So, uh we called him in and said, "Listen, you're you're our best chance to you know to win." And of course, his first question was, "Well, can I still play short?" And I said, "Well, yes and no." I said, "Yes, you can play, but we're not going to put you out there and hurt you." So he agreed to it. He knew that was he knew that was the best for the team. But you know, I, I would certainly say uh, you know he had some reservations, but he he didn't you know he didn't buck it. He just said, "I'll I'll do it." And uh, you know, the Mets really did a great job in scouting him because, you know, nobody really was looking at him as a pitcher. So you got to give credit to the, to the scouting department with the Mets to, to recognize, you know, what he could be in such a relatively short amount of time. Pete, from what you've seen as you've watched him, what has been the, the biggest growth, the biggest improvement you've seen from Jacob from his college days to where he is right now? He's got no fear out there. I mean, he pitches so aggressively for a young for a young kid. I mean, he just goes right after some of the, you know the best hitters in, in baseball. And so, uh, obviously, he's got he's got command. He had command when he pitched for us, but he's got you know really good command of a, of, of three pitches. But uh, he is he is so aggressive. How much pride do you have when guys do what they have done under your under your regime? Well, it's you know every college coach will tell you that's that's a point of pride. He's uh, he's certainly a, a great young man and a point of pride for us here at Stetson. Pete Dunn, 35 years, the head baseball coach at Stetson University, big part of the early success and what has proved to be a tremendous early big league career for Jacob Degrom. Uh, Pete, thanks for spending a few minutes with us and giving us some insights. Thanks, I, I appreciate it and uh, and uh, really uh, really wish Jacob the best.